We're joined right now in the Ford Post Game Show by the man that made some changes and was afforded the ability to do some of those things tonight, head coach Jason Christ. First and foremost, Jason, congratulations on the win here today and keeping this thing rolling. We'll start first with that scramble and that, that, late, uh, that late push TFC put on you and the effort your guys gave in back. Yeah, super, super. Everybody covering for each other, everybody willing to throw their body wherever it took and make plays for each other. So it's really, really nice to see them put that kind of, that kind of effort in at the end of the match and walk out with all three points. Jason, over the years, we're so used to seeing a 4-4-2 with a diamond in the midfield today. You switched it up. You, you went with more of a 4-3-3 look. Is it because of the depth that is, does that afford you the opportunity to maybe give us different looks of, of what could be a, a different lineups going forward? I think so. You know, as we say, the, the questions are always answered in the matches. We can talk uh, about the chalkboard and talk on the chalkboard as much as we want. We can run through things in practice and see that we like it. Uh, but the, the players uh, answer the questions in the game, and I think that they did a pretty nice job today. It wasn't perfect, but it was their first time at it, so it's nice to see that we have another option. Get back to... Get back to those guys at the back for a minute. You've had the ability to start a number of young players alongside of Nat Borchers this year. Today, Aaron Mond got his chance. And from our perspective, Jason, he, he appeared to acquit himself pretty well. But you know, coaches always see things a little bit different. How did you think Aaron played today? I thought he was super, super. Uh, you know, it wasn't a perfect game. He made a couple of mistakes at the end where I thought he should be heading to players and headed to their players. Caused us to, to have to look at uh, second chances a little bit, but super, super reaction because the last time he played, it was a bit of a struggle for him at home, and I thought this, this, this might be the right time. He had a good reserve match down in Phoenix for the guys, uh, and I think he, he acquitted himself very, very nicely. Welcome Aaron Mon to the team. Jason, again, you, you lose more players to international duty. You've got the depth on this roster. We've seen players come in and play very, very well given their opportunity. As you look forward, is this going to be more of the same for, for opportunities for players that maybe wouldn't have seen the field had these full national yeah, team players you know, been I mean, involved? you look at guys like Lavelle Palmer and, and Abdulli Mansali now with uh, Belchan leaving. Uh, we only got Wingert now, so one of those guys is going to be playing in most of the matches, and there will be games where we're going to look to, to rest Wingert as we go along through the season as well. So uh, there will be chances for them. There will be chances now. Aaron Mon shows that he's capable, so maybe we'll be able to rest Borchers as we go along. Uh, in the midfield, as we know, we've got so much depth there, and up front we've got depth there as well. So I really feel good about all the players right now. They're all contributing in some fashion. Even the guys that didn't get to play tonight and haven't got to play are still contributing in the training sessions, and the mood that they're helping create in the locker room is fantastic. Jason, congrats on the first in Canada. Thanks. Thank you.